Hello pretties, welcome to Esrael. So today I have my plan to pan mid-year update and it's an exciting one. It's actually so exciting that I decided to add some products, which never thought that would happen. But yeah, anyway, let's get started. Let's start with the most disappointing products, the one that I really haven't touched too much. Um, I have the shade White What If, which is a really nice red uh, liquid lipstick. Sorry, not this one. Dang it. On display is the most disappointing one because I honestly have not really touched it at all. It's really nice, nice pigmented um, blue red. I haven't really touched it the entire year. I'm probably not going to get to it to be honest. So yeah, that's the, <laughs> that's the most disappointing one. I had added the Rare Beauty one um, in the shade Joy and my goal was not really to finish it, just to get some use out of it. And I ended up using it over 50 times um, this year, so that's pretty exciting. I actually made a little dent in it, and I can tell, because it doesn't dispense nearly as much product as it used to be. Not to say that still there isn't plenty of product, just saying not as much as it used to be. Which honestly, with this kind of product, that's a win. So I'm really glad that I, I really had gotten a lot of use out of this. My other one, I'm trying to hit pan on this opal shade. I'm actually wearing it today and I almost always take it with me when I leave town. Um, however, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna hit pan on it because I've been using it so sparingly. It does have a really nice dip in the middle, which it's had that dip in the middle for a while now, but it's really not my priority shade this year at all. So who knows? There's honestly a really good opportunity that I could I just don't know when that will it happen. <laughs> so there's that. Um, other shades. Is that the only like like disappointing ones? I think so. Okay. So we got that out of the way. Not that bad, all things considered, right? Now there's two things that I three things that I haven't really used, but I'm not too worried about finishing up at all. And that is uh, Ghosted and LA Lady here. I haven't really used them at all, but LA Lady has very little product left, and it's a shade that I really enjoy, especially in the um, fall. So I think I'm going to get more better use in the fall. So no to worry about that one. I'm pretty confident I can get through that one. And then there's the shade Ghosted, which there's actually uh, quite a bit of product, but there's definitely some use in it, uh, which I really enjoy this shade, and I think it would be a really good summer shade. However, I have other things that I'm prioritizing, but I know that if I were to focus on this shade, I'll get through it quickly because I really, really, really like this shade. Um, so there's that. Now, the other one that I haven't really used, but I'm, again, not worried about using up, is this Becca highlighter. Um, I've had that pan <laughs> since before the year started, and I haven't really focused on it. It is in my uh, Graveyard Project pan, but I've been focusing on the Fenty Beauty, and this one's almost done. I'll open it in a second. So I feel like this is going to start getting a lot of use for me, like, towards the end of July and then pretty much till the end of the year this is the other one I'm going to be using and try to get it done which I think summer fall is the best time to use it because more of like that like golden um highlighter Jesus those words were not coming to me so I think it's going to be a good time for me to get more use out of this one so those are the only products that again I'm not worried about using so but I know I haven't really touched um now things that are really uh, actually things that are potentially forgot that not, not gonna get done is this one right here so some improvement my updates are supposed to be in like two weeks and I have really not touched it I am planning on using this palette exclusively a little bit more in the summer and in the fall uh, just because I if I really plan to at the very least finish this three shades and then I will be happy. I just want to use up the three mats uh, at least. And then if I could hit pan either or of these, either or of these shades, I'll be happy. Um, I don't care for these two, so whatever happens happens with those. So regardless, this is gonna be done at the end of the year. So there's that. All right. Um, so for things that are very 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 close on being done, I have uh, oh some. I also have this what if shade, I did mention it. I've been steadily using it, I am actively working on it, um, but the progress is slow. So who knows what's gonna happen with this one, but I have tried to work on it. Okay, it's kinda hot in here, it's really hot in Texas. And I see it's on, but it's it's not working that well. I don't know, we just got home, the see was off, so it's still not quite cool. Um, so anyway, this Becca highlighter, 
super close on being done. It is super, super, super thin. There's not a lot of product left here. Um, I should be done with this within the next week or two. So super excited about that. Bam. Another one that's really, really, really close on being done is, Jesus Christ, this one right here. I think, again, I have about a week. I don't think it'll last more than a week. There's really very, 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 very little product. I've actually thought about repressing it, but I just feel like the formula might be really too strange if I do that. Oh, 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 oh. Um, this single shadow right here, I'm almost, almost, almost done with it. I have one, maybe two uses left. It's just a, t oh gosh, there's just a tiny little bit there in the corner. So that one will for sure be done. Um, I also had these two uh, blushes. And I did end up repressing this one. And I am pretty close on having to repress this one. <sighs> I don't know. Um, I still feel confident that I can finish them up. But I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> I'm getting a little nervous about them. But I, I still feel confident that I could finish them. Now, this is the shade that I'm supposed to be focusing on right after this one. But I'm not because I'm going to bring in something else instead. But I'll talk about that in just a minute. And then there was this highlighter. Honestly, I'm probably not going to get this highlighter. I was thinking that I was going to for sure just throw it away at the end of the year. But after having a nice little break from it, I actually can see myself trying to finish it in 2023. Um, but again, let's see how long it takes me to do the Becca highlighter. And if I can finish this highlighter in like four months... Maybe I can try to spend some time with it afterwards because uh, I'm also trying to hit that pan on that opal. I think that's a party. But I feel like if I focus on opal, I would be hit on pan on it relatively quickly if I were just to focus on it. I just have it. So I don't know. Um, so this one's kind of up in the air. I might still throw it out at the end of the year if I get to actually get some focus time on it this year. But it's up in the air. If I don't get to do any focus on it whatsoever, I probably will bring it into 2023, which is shocking. I never thought I would say that, <laughs> but I might bring it into 2023. Although I already know which highlighter I want to pan in 2023, and it's going to take me all year to finish that one highlighter. So I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, I think that's about everything that was on this palette. So let's move along to pretty much everything that I actually succeeded at, and I have my your little empties bucket so I can throw them back in. Um, okay, so we did actually already finish a highlighter and it was this wet and wild one. I had just the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little bit left and I finally finished it. So that goes in the bucket. Sorry, had to do that. Um, had this Milani bronzer that again is completely done and isn't that so nice? And we've, so you know, we're doing really good on bronzers this year. So be ready. I have some more items, right? I have my A Go Go uh, just tint, which I've already repurchased because I really enjoyed it. So I'm throwing that in there. I have this lip gloss from uh, what's it called? Makeup Laura Makeup Labs, whatever it was called. Gone. This was a really nice accomplishment to finish this uh, lip liner. So yay! I want to finish this foundation. Done. I wanted to finish both of the foundations, which was very little on them. Done. I wanted to finish both of this into lip balms. Done. Blush. Done. So, overall, I did really, really, really well. Um, which is why I decided to add some extra products. Because how about a year, I still have six months left. A little bit less than six months, but like, I have a long time to try to get some other good products out of my out of my collection. So again, I'm still trying to focus on this for lipsticks, but honestly, not sure what's gonna happen with those. Um, I'm still very much so actively working on these two blushes. I'm not gonna be working on these two. They're not gonna be a priority. So there's that. Um, this one will for sure be done. <laughs> okay, I am still very much so actively trying to hit pan on this one and trying to finish this one. I'm actually using this one today because I was trying to do this kind of like Gen C makeup where it's more like no makeup makeup, very more soft. I'm wearing a roof to cocktail on over my eyelids. I think it's a really nice effect. I got complimented today on my eyeshadow and that's always a plus. So there's that. that those are still happening. These two will for sure be done within the next two weeks. So maybe three on this highlighter, but 
they will for sure be done. So I still feel confident with those. I feel like I've already finished my accomplishment of wanting to get some really good use out of it. I mean, I used it 50 times. It's a long time. It's a lot of times to use it. So I feel pretty good about that. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, with this palette, I have no idea. I'm still very much so feeling it, but we'll see. So the products that I am bringing in to want to finish up. Oh gosh. Okay. There you are. I am adding another bronzer because um, pretty much once that Lars bronzer is gone, I've accomplished all the bronzers that I wanted to finish for the year. And there's only three bronzers that I own now, which is really exciting. Um, my makeup inventory is coming up, so you'll be able to see it. I only own three bronzers now. Um, and the other two are bronzers that I plan on keeping in my collection and just keep repurchasing it. And this one is just not. So it's the one that comes in the Samantha Marge um, and Ofra collab. And so my goal is to finish this bronzer, which I think seven months, it should be plenty of time to finish this bronzer. It is more of a mini size. Uh, let me check how much product is in that one. There is four grams or 0.14 ounces of product. Yeah, that's not that's not too much. Um, so I feel like I should be able to finish this one bronzer by the end of the year. Pretty much, I'm, it's gonna be my mainly focus in the next week or two. <laughs> as soon as I'm done with the Nars one, this is gonna be my main focus. So there's that. Um, I think at some point I want to try and pan this cream uh, super shock matte uh, shadow. It's actually quite thin. Um, pretty much everywhere. You can definitely see all the rings. I've already hit pan on it, but I actually think I could potentially finish it if I were to just kind of focus on it. I'm just gonna wipe my hand real quick. I'm getting really nervous. I want to touch something with this hand and then get all dirty. Okay, there you go. Um, now, I also have this 3 Duke lipsticks. I'll be honest, I am not confident that I'm gonna finish these two, but I just wanna get some really, really, really good progress on these two. I know for a fact I can get this one done because there's not a lot of product left. So there's that. Um, we'll see. I, I'm going to try my best to try to finish these two, even though I don't know that I will. But I'm going to try my best. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then the last two things is instead of finishing that Hear Me Out shade from ColourPop, I'm actually going to try to finish these two shades right here. These are also from ColourPop. So this one right here is from the... Um, Wild Nothings palette, and this is in the shade Crystal Cove, which is essentially just a matte cream, but it has, it's like the sequin shade, and it has those little glitters on it. Not sure if you guys are going to be able to see that. There you go. I actually can't see them on my eyelid, and I've been using this pretty steadily, which is why, if you can see, there's a bit of a dip. This, this one's hard to notice, but there's a dip on this, and I use it pretty much just in my inner corner of my brow bone, and I've been using it, using it pretty much exclusively for the whole year. I don't know that I'll be able to finish it using it just like that, but use it up by the end of the year if I only use it like that. So I may have to find other ways to incorporate it into looks or actually like use it to set down my lid. It's just that because those glitters are more pronounced, even though I use like a fluffy brush, you can still see them. So I don't know that that would be doable. And then I have this shade, I believe this one is also from the Well Not Things. Okay, no, I was wrong. So this is from the ColourPop Catch Me, um, sorry, ColourPop Sweet Talk palette, and it's in the shade Catch Me. And I know you're thinking, isn't that like a pinky shade? And you're correct, it is, except for the fact that when I swatch it and I use it on my eyelid, it's basically cream. Um, when I put it on my lids, you cannot see those undertones at all. So this, that was me, I just like softly try to blend it out and you really can't see it. There is a slight undertone, which does worry me slightly that it might change the, the color if I put another shade on top. Sorry, this like a little hair in, like, or something in my hair. Jesus. Okay, well, all right. Um, but I don't think it'll be a problem. I hope. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to focus on these two shades right here. So, yeah. <laughs> And lastly, honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to these two, but I just kind of want to manifest that I want to get some use out of these shades. And it's my two Sephora collection um, eyeshadows. These are my only non cruelty free eyeshadows that I own. And it's these two right here from the Sephora collection. Um, they're actually really nice. They're very old. They're the oldest eyeshadows that I own. So there they are. 
like I said, they're actually really, really, really nice. Um, they're nice shadows. It's just they're also very big. I believe they're 0 0.07 um, or maybe even bigger than that. They're big shadows. They're nice. They're, they're very smooth. I really like them. Um, so honestly, if I don't if I don't prioritize them this year, it's totally fine. I am potentially going to do a Baby Panda palette in 2023. And that's not going to be the palette that I will, uh, the two shadows that I will be working on. Oh my goodness. They're glittery. So there's that. And that is pretty much everything that I'm going to be adding on. <sighs> Even though it feels daunting, I feel like almost everything is very doable except for that uh, ColourPop highlighter that's in the Meganite palette. I really don't know about this too. And that really red shade on display. I don't know. But everything else, I feel confident that I can still get it done. So, what do y'all think? Uh, how is your plan to pan for 22 going? I honestly very, am very excited about the fact that I'm able to add stuff to it. So, really looking forward to that. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.